Hi guys and welcome to today's episode where we have this little Honda Chalet CF70 in for service name OT. The little bike has been lying, lying for don't know how many years but needs a complete going over. Uh, the bike starts and runs perfectly fine, I've already changed the spark plug in it but there's no electronics working at all. Uh, you know it's been just tidied up over the years bits and pieces but, but I doubt it's been any, driven on the road at any time in the, in the near past. Uh, so let me show you some of the problems with it. The wiring, on, wiring under the seat is in very bad condition. Little chocolate blocks as some people call them. Just There's no battery in it. Battery box just sitting loose. Just a whole lot of little small things. The engine itself is in perfect shape. There's Again there's wires everywhere with insulating tape. Just not in great shape. So. Let's get started by stripping some of the stuff out, repairing those wires and seeing if we get any better then. Use some melted wires down in here. Not so good. I think I might just pull the whole wiring bloom out of this bike and it's just completely gone through. It is no good the way it is, a complete hazard. Even this earth wire, that's actually earth wires burnt out, pretty much all burnt out. It's no wonder why nothing's working. So let's see what we need to do next to get this wiring loom out. Rear mud guard held on with four 10, 10 millimeter bolts. Next to drop out the engine it appears we need to remove this bolt, this bolt and this bolt. I'm going to just get something to support the engine and then we'll listen to those bolts to see how we get on. I removed the nut from the opposite side of this one. Leave that one in in the meantime as it's in the middle so the engine will pivot on that. Now there is a nut on the far side of this one too so you're going to have to hold that nut with a 14mm spanner.
pull out this bolt. Just let the jack down as far as it'll go. Just going to remove the jack as it won't go any lower. Going to use the jack as a side stand. The only thing that's like holding this now is on the far side, right opposite here, there's a 12mm nut holding the exhaust on. I have that on, I just need to push the bolt out a little. Is it down? The only thing holding it now is the wires coming from the stator, which you can see better from the top. These bunch of wires here, these connectors. Just going to check if they're all color coded. Yeah, they're all color coded. We have a blue with a white trace, we have a black with a red trace. A green, yellow, and white. A little breather pipe, yeah, that's the engine out. Just gonna move the bike, lift the bike, bike off the top of it. And there we have it, the engine's removed, can get a good inspection around it now and see what all needs to be done but pretty much the main concern at the moment is getting this wire in the middle of this bike as it is really bad shape. But yeah I'm going to wait for the new one to come before I start ripping this one out just so it's easier to remember where everything goes, it's not a bad idea. Uh, take loads of photographs too so when I get that, I'll be back with you then. Actually guys, found another little problem with the bike, well, it's sort of a major problem. The rear swing arm near the pivot point is actually kind of rotten. It'll need repaired. Let's see if I can show you where it's at. If you can see that right there, yeah, see that hole? So, swing arm's going to have to come off. Maybe get sandblasted or grind it down and get that professionally repaired. So, uh, at least we know what the next job is. Let's get started.
these little rubber dampers are seem to be war. A lot of rubber piled up there in the center where it's been obviously loose for so many years, but so we have to get that checked out. Okay, so the new swing arm has arrived. A couple of bits has to be changed over, welded on. You've got a little bracket here for a brake cable, one here and one at the back. Easy enough to just weld those on to get that painted because it's obviously not an orange bike. Wearing them I had to get second hand, came from Belgium. Uh, so this is the part on the original loom that's completely fried. And there's another wire that goes to the headlight on there that's absent as well. Got some new parts from CMS in Belgium also, so I'm pretty sure they're in Belgium. Got like new air filters, some brake shoes, gas kit, shock absorber bushing, dampers for the rear sprocket. And that's about it, so in the next episode we're going to be getting this put back together. This is using it for a little road trip. So guys, that about wraps it up for this episode. Please remember, if you like this video and you find it useful, just hit that like and subscribe button as it really helps me out. And I shall see you next time.